Good morning, afternoon, and evening everyone. This is Vicious here of the Immersive Arcade, and today I have another review for you. I will be reviewing Sony's new flagship title, Returnal, an eerie futuristic roguelike title filled with death, rebirth, and satisfaction. I was able to play through the game and beat it within about 14 hours or so, but there is a lot I want to talk about for this unique first party game developed specifically for the PS5. The first thing to note about Returnal is that it is a roguelike experience. I am not particularly used to roguelike games, in fact the only other experience I've had with the genre is Hades, made by Supergiant Games. I was not entirely sure what to expect when it came down to Returnal, but I had to say overall I was pleasantly surprised. Returnal follows the story of Selene Vasos, an astronaut who is seemingly searching for life on a planet after crash landing while receiving a warning signal from said planet. Through this adventure you will experience quite a few hardships, but with a little experience and the help of this super dope soundtrack, you should pull through alright. Planet Atropos is an interesting and somewhat complex maze of wonder. There are many ways to approach playing Returnal and making your way through the several biomes that are offered within the game. The game will show you in its informative map what leads to new areas bonus rooms, and challenge arenas. The areas are procedurally generated each cycle, so nothing will ever be in the same place, which means you will have a new experience almost every time. The gameplay in Returnal can only be described as addicting. There are so many nuances at work here. There are parasites that give you a buff and debuff at the same time that make you strategize which ones to attach or detach. These buffs slash debuffs may include things like you gain more health back from healing items, but when you fall from a certain height, you take damage. There are some bonus rooms that may include stations where you may fabricate artifacts, which are buffs that stay with you until you die, or items that possibly harm you with a curse, which this game calls malignancy. The weapons that you obtain are of a wide variety. You can get anything from your prototypical pistol to a rocket launcher. There are two deluxe edition weapons that are fantastic, but it is disappointing that they aren't just guns that you can obtain in the base game. The guns all have traits and alt fires that are in rotation. You're not always guaranteed to get the trait you want, but once you've unlocked a trait by using the weapons enough, you won't have to unlock them again. In Returnal to progress, you need to face the boss of each biome. Each step gives you new ways to traverse and unlocks more information about the game and what has happened on Atropos. The boss battles are amazing. Returnal has bullet hell tendencies and this is magnified in boss fights. You find yourself in a lot of cases completely immersed in shooting while dodging enemy shots, which feels incredible. There's no other word I can use to describe it. Returnal from start to finish was a very interesting game. Though I only spent 14 hours going through the first playthrough, I'd easily say that I could keep coming back to this game for an adrenaline rush and challenge. 
I only have three critiques for the game. One, no suspense say so you may turn the game off and return to it later. This is kind of annoying depending on how good you are and how busy you are. If you're not very good at Returnal, you're going to have trouble playing this game. And if you're busy, that just doubles the trouble because you won't be able to turn the game off and return to a stage where you're last playing. Number two, you may carry only one weapon at once at any given time. This is a small nitpick and can be disregarded depending on how you feel personally about finding guns. So take that with a grain of salt. And number three, two of the weapons in this $70 game are tied to the Deluxe Edition making it $80. And the weapons are pretty interesting and strong and the game can be beaten in a short amount of time. So having content that seems like it should just be in the game be tied to a price tag is a little bothersome. With all that being said, I still give the game an 8.5 out of 10. The game is a fun experience and anybody with a PS5, I would suggest you get this first, even over Demon Souls Remake. I hope that you enjoyed my review. I'm going to play some more Returnal. And if you like this review, please subscribe to the Immersive Arcade for more.